Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is a nice traditional cup of tea. So in a previous series of Airships videos, we were designing many different Airships, ground ships, and indeed some static structures. And through various testing and iteration, we found that the majority are... Hmm, what's the best way to put it, but diplomatically? Um, only effective in very specific edge case scenarios. We'll use that term over the uh, probably preferred one, which is useless. However, one or two of them were actually quite decent. However, we've never really used them in anger and certainly not used them in a conquest setting. And that's what this mini series is going to be about. We're going to be firing up a conquest campaign and going through and building as much as we can the different weird and wonderful designs that we have made and try to pull a win out of it but we'll see how far we get on that one. So let's go over to conquest and to new game and I've already went ahead and set up the majority of things that we need to so let's just delete the name and go with uh, Generican. Um, at a time, as you can see, we've just got the scales, which gives us 15% income from cities. Now, I was going to go with something like the lozenge, which gives us extra technology. Same like the spearhead, the same thing. You've got many different it, things in here that gives you access to certain technology. However, I've went with the scales because it gives us extra generic units of currency, which is good, 15% in fact. However, the reason I've done that is because although all of these settings are on default, so medium map size, medium difficulty, mixed land type, default monsters, and a normal research, I've maxed out our starting technology so we'll have access to all of the technology because that's one of the sort of limiting factors of these designs that we've made. A lot of them require very high level and specific technology so things like the suspendium cannon or pressurized suspendium tanks, things like that. So having it on tier 5 means that we have access to that which means we can build all of these things from the get go as you know funding uh, allowing on all of that. Anyway. And that's fine. The disadvantage is that the enemy will have access to all that as well. Anyway, we'll go to start game and we'll see if it puts us in a favourable position. Now, as I said, the overall objective was to build as much as we can these weird and wonderful designs and probably use them outside of their original scope and intent. However, I'm not ruling out any iteration and design. In fact, I'm not even ruling out any straight building from scratch, but we'll have to see how we get on. So we have been situated on the right-hand side here, which is actually pretty good. However, we are fairly spread out, so that's a bit of a problem because we have one, two, three areas here which as I said quite sort of spread out. We have some white dragons at the top which is minus income and some clockwork wasps down the bottom there. We have a person on the top which they have a quite a grouped up uh, area there and we also have someone to the left. As you can see the map is indeed quite large. There are a couple of islands down the bottom here all very clustered and naturally a lot of these will start to gather together and well first destroy each other and then band together but we'll just have to see what happens over on our side. Now what we'll probably do is take out some insurance and build some very fast reacting vessels and boarding vessels probably just to, like I said to protect our empire and then we're going to go with some of the weird and wonderful ones but if we go over to a build ship you can see we've got many different things so we've got like the Austin which is a flamethrower thing a lot of these ones here are quite old uh, like so things we've made and used in previous series so the Barry was one of them it's got grape shot cannons the basic was a very very good one it's just got loads of these ballistas there the Berlin version 2 is well, fairly terrible. The Botfly is a, sh a very small vessel with grape shot cannons there. The Coventry is an old one, but also quite effective there. The Crane is, yeah, it was its original intent was to fire these harpoon guns and to grab onto stuff, but you can see we don't have access to the moon disc fragments because, well, you need. So the Mundus Fragment Chamber, you need to find this uh, in the in the game there. We've got the Denver, which is a quick boarding vessel, quite useful. We'll probably build a couple of those. The Dresden, which is a fairly well-armoured bomber. Excalibur, which is just well over-pointed. We've got the Harrier, which is a really garbage carrier. The Leroy, which runs into stuff. The Hull, which is one of the newer ones that we've made, which has these aerial charges on it. You go underneath a vessel and you fire up into it. We've got the Mobile Wall and the Spike Ram, which is, again, very, very small specific things for just ramming into stuff. We've also got the Necrosis, which is a sort of high-level Zeppelin carrier thing. The New York, which is actually more effective than it should be. It's got these triplanes as well as the aerial hazards and also the suspendium cannon, but you can see it's not giving us any negatives for technology. There's also some weird artifacting going on. It seems like squares popping up. I don't know if that's coming up on the uh, recording there. Anyway, Oxford, which is definitely one of the new ones, very, very good as well. It's got the Suspendium Rays on it. It's very, very quick, I think, this thing. Uh, 196 kilometers an hour, service ceiling 165 meters, and then it's got the Suspendium Ray, so very, very good there. 
we've got the prim which is very very yeah, primitive it's just got two blisters on it but it's actually very very good because of its cost the rampage is just a yeah it's a vessel that just rams into stuff and then blows up although a lot of our things do that but that was the first one that we intended to run into, run into stuff and blow up this one is a, the rock tosser lots of grenades on the side there we have the sandwich which was yeah we've actually got the pared down version which you've seen earlier the sterling which is pretty good as well but again quite an old design Sunderland, which is just a carrying thing, you used to be able to drive uh, things on top of it like a mobile bridge. It didn't really work. We've got Testington, which is, yeah, that's just got sponsons all over it. And then we've got the head in the middle where we made like a sort of design that would sort of click together and you could have multiple modules. It didn't work, but it was very, very fun to do. The troll, which is just, yeah, it's just it's some struts where you can ram it and stuff. The unassailable, which is using this moon disc fragment chamber and some bombers. It's supposed to be a high level bomber with a service ceiling of 4 or 2, but it was also very expensive. And then finally, the York. So overall, we've got a lot of stuff here that we can use. We've also got some old versions and legacy stuff, but we'll maybe check those out later on. If we go to a build ship, uh, sorry, where is it? Build land ship, we can see a lot of the new ones. So the Acne Carry, I think, was one of the newest ones. We've got Air Dragoon Barracks, but also with the Suspendium Chamber on the front. We've got the Adjuster, which didn't really work. The Atlanta, which just fires off these borders. I can see a lot of the designs of this have changed. There's a lot more detail in, like, the... Uh, barracks and the coal store and stuff we've got yeah some really weird ones the catastrophe oh that's nice we've got some more like struts and reinforcements on the on the saw there i quite like that the corrector the encroacher the harpoon walkers which are actually decent we've got the moderate which is just a big lump of <laughs> a lump of suspendium cannons the leads which was actually quite an old one but quite good with the torpedoes there and then you've got the bomber tank and these are all the mini ones the mini hazard tank the mini ray tank one of my favorites there i do like actually the suspendium ray you've got the sponson tank the top tank we've got the paris which is a carrier and then we've got the leg section for the airship thing that thing all goes together and yeah like the winter which was actually a very 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 good one a very sensible design we actually set out to make a very sensible thing and that is that's what we got out of it which is probably the first thing that we'll make in terms of ground stuff so i'm just going to unpause it and go to normal speed actually what i should probably do is set up some research because even though we have access to all of this we can still buy the ones it says or so we need to select which ones we've got if cannon reload speed or cannons no longer explode which is quite useful so maintenance troop maintenance rocket accuracy or fire four smaller rockets for 100 damage that might be quite good as well reduce torpedo minimum range extra damage on torpedoes steel armor weight or what's that steel armor blast absorption airplane speed and cost reduction or airplane hp there's a lot of stuff that we could probably go for hmm i think Probably cannons no longer explode is a reasonable one. I'm going to put on to a basic research because I'm not in any great hurry to get that unlocked. And there we go, we'll unpause it. So I'm just waiting for money to roll in and we'll go ahead and build, as I said, like the, probably the Denver, I think, because that's a quite a decent one to stop any enemy coming in. So that's the whole point in it. We do have some clockwork wasps on the right and some white dragons at the top, which will cause some problems. Let's go over to build ship. Hang on, and back over to here, and then we're going to go down to the Denver, and this is just boarding. You can see we've got the Marine Barracks, we've got the Grape Shot Cannon on there, but that is only 814 and we'll say okay build that one there and it'll crack on building and that allows us to rush to different areas and uh, take them out i'm going to put a oh i can't send a spy i don't have the funds at the moment there we go i'm going to send a spy over to there and i want to just see ah they're actually going to attack each other that is actually fine i'll recall that spy then don't need to put it there although to be fair probably could have left it I just wanted to see what sort of technology they have, but I might as well send a spy to the place I'm more likely to take over. What I want to do is try and take this northern area, and maybe even down here as well, uh, in very short order. Incoming enemy fleet, so we can see that. We can see that's coming from Prumpf to Stuttgart, uh, over on the bottom there. So we will get our fleet, which we see this is called the Anti-Diluvian. It is a torpedo boat by the look of it. Let's have a quick look at that. We'll go to Refit. If we could see that it's got two Gatling guns and a aerial torpedo, which is an interesting choice. It means you're also short and long range. Look at the detail on that now. So we've got coal store with all like the shovels in and such. And yeah, just loads of detail being put on that. Nice. Anyway, so they're going down to the bottom and I will move to there and we'll crack on with that one. It's actually quite slow, this thing, and that's a bit of a problem. I'm actually, I'm actually going to say... 
Mm, get that there and move to there and watch how quick this is. It'll just rush straight past and stop. And then they are still coming. So hopefully we will be able to... Ah, so they're actually trying to run away now. I'm in instead then going to select the Denver and say move to there. And actually, can I do that? I'm going to say in click to intercept. I'm going to intercept that with the... Other one, I'm going to move down there. I'm going to see what they've got. So this is versus this guy, and we can see that they have an awesome looking stuff. I really wish I could make something that looks that good. Mind you, I just tend to make bricks. Anyway, it's got a couple of cannons on the bottom. Three of them, in fact. A cannon on the front, and then we've also got this one on the top. So it's also got... Is that a flamethrower? No, it's not. It can't be a flamethrower. That'll just be a... Um, that's just like a bit of decoration. He says, with no degree of confidence, I really hope it's decoration. Anyway, we'll say start the fight, and we will go to board ship, and we'll click on that one there. And you can see we are actually getting shot, but we have also got a grape shot cannon. Looks like they've got a grape shot cannon too. I'm going to go right on the top there, and we can see we are boarding, and we are right over the top there. And I'm going to try and go over the top, and that should be an enemy ship that is captured. Yes, that was it, and we've captured that. Victory, and we'll click OK, and then we'll move back to this area here. And in fact, you know what I might do? I might just keep on invading, because... Why would we not? It looks like he's getting invaded from the bottom there as well, so that's an interesting one. Let's go ahead and check out this city here, and we can see that they have... Ah, yes, the... The tower. Made of wood. The spiky tower thing. Right, so that's of that one. And let's see what this guy has. So, it is nice and snowy, and we can see that they have two flat cannons and turret on the front and probably a grape shot or a gatling gun so i'm going to move this thing down the bottom and well probably about there and then this one also down there too because the last thing i want is to end up getting end up getting a flat cannon so i'm going to say move and i'm going to say move to there so it'll move very very quickly the denver after all is quite a fast vessel and we'll also say board and we'll tell them to board that and we'll stop just in time for them to jump off and then to start boarding and then i'm going to run back over because quite frankly there's no way i want to face off against all that but it shouldn't be too much of a problem actually we are getting absolutely hammered there by that gatling gun so i'm going to move back there so a bit of micromanagement on it this shouldn't be too much of a problem and there's another capture so there we are we've managed to take over that thing so pretty good indeed and we'll say victory and we'll go with a gentle takeover and gentle take over there that's fine so that's now getting taken over it will take some time we'll say invade the abdon abdon dis and that should be fine for this i will move back with the anti deluvian to uh, genericum because obviously this guy is attacking left right and center so i don't know if he if he wants to come down this way and we can see we've got another similar sort of setup here so we will say start the fight move right into there now this thing is actually taking some damage so we might have to be very careful on how much we use this and i will say board so they're going to get ready to board and there's a fire that i don't think we can put out so we'll have to see what happens there i told them to board and then i will pull them back that right back and i'm just hoping they can put that fire out and i will actually tell them to ground the ship because i don't want that to fall out the sky and die although i fear that may happen anyway yeah they're not going to be able to put that fire out I think what we'll have to do is eventually edit those designs to have it so that we have a very small, uh, what would it be, the, the fire points I think they're called. Anyway, that's another one and we'll go with a gentle take over there and that's all fine. So this thing is still in one piece. The problem is that their main city might be a little bit too difficult to invade because it'll probably have some probably have a lot of stuff there but i'm going to give it a go we can always flee from the fight if need be so here we are we're going to go up to prompt and we will have a fight and it has got still only one defense so this should be hopefully a fairly decent one we're going to say move over to there but we have got some trees in the way and i think i moved it just a little bit too far so this is a bit of a miscalculation by myself i think we're actually going to get flat yes we are getting flat but i have i have ordered them to board and most of them have managed to get there i'm going to back up like that and let the boarding happen i'm actually going to tell it to go even further away just get out of the way just get out of dodge that's all we're trying to do and that should be okay you can see we've got nice little details to this water thing i think that was a previous one although it doesn't look like we've managed to take it over i don't think we have i don't think we have taken it over do we have any other borders left no we have crew but, oh, victory, there we go. I was going to say, <laughs> eventually we would have captured it. And then we'll say victory and a gentle takeoff. So that is that faction destroyed. 
Didn't think we'd do it, but I'm glad we have because that's now secured our southern border. So that's fine. So we've taken technically this one here in four, which I will actually no, is that ours? No, it's not. That's actually that all that other uh, guy's thing. So I'm going to say invade there. This is with our with our Denver. You can see it's going to go over there. I'm going to go to generic and build ship and build another Denver. Like I said just to protect our sort of northern territory. But this should be just a quick little uh, quick grab. Now I'm not. Oh, that's actually this guy's territory, is it? I think it is. I really hope they don't. Hmm. I really hope they're not sort of vengeful in any way. But here we are. Uh, <laughs> we're going to quickly charge forward with the Denver, and it does feel a little bit abusive using these things in anger like this. But as I said, I think we're trying to secure a decent position for ourselves. You can see a lot of the guys are not able to board for some reason. They are struggling. They're trying to get there and it looks like the cannon's going to blow up. Ironically, that's the research that we have going, but we're not able to uh, get it at the moment. I've just moved that down there to see if these are going to do anything. I have, issue. I have ordered them to board, but looks like they're not doing it at the moment. I wonder if we can get... Oh dear, that's that's not good. That's, that's a little bit of fire there. Just a cheeky bit of fire. I will ground the ship and hoping that we get underneath the, yeah, that, that's a bit of burning, that, and that's a destroyed vessel, so the suspendium chamber has gone up, the, looks like the engine is out, and that is pretty much dead, and we have been defeated, so not only have we been defeated, we've lost the Denver, so that's the first loss of the game, certainly not the last, but we'll see how we get on there, so we will probably leave that southern territory, because, well, it's this guy's. I was just trying to rush it and take the whole area, but no matter, no matter. So we still have a couple of areas to take on this side. You can see these are actually attacking each other, which is fine. I'm probably going to try and take out a lot of these, which is alright. You can see this one, because of the white dragons, we've actually got negative income, uh, actually zero income on this one. And this one's also giving us some negative income too, and minus 10, so that's not great. Anyway, we do have now the Denver and the anti deluvian but we have 1,006 generic units of currency. Because we're doing a gentle takeover, we shouldn't get any people writing or anything like that, so hopefully we'll be able to get a decent bit of money on that one. That's a large shipyard as well, which is pretty good. In terms of the secret police, we are on lax there. You can see the bonuses because of the yeah, because of our starting one, but you can get others as we progress on, and hopefully we will. Obviously, in the future, there is a full overhaul for this and multiplayer coming for like diplomacy and working together and that sort of thing, which I'm very much looking forward to because the late game of the campaign is the you versus the world if you uh, <laughs> manage to get to that state. So 1,600. Let's go over to the land ship. Actually, no, we're not going to go to build ship and we're going to build the Oxford because I do very much like these things and this is where we'll start to build things that are going to be for destroying and at the moment we only have ships that well for boarding really so it looks like we've taken over Subak, which is good and now uh, abdon dis is also taken and finally we are going for uh, prompt there we go and that's now taken over so 180 is what it says at the moment although that may change oh no it's actually it should be okay now so we've still got this insecticide and i don't know what to do with that i think keep it where it is is probably the way forward I will build ship, and we're going to build another Oxford, so we'll get those going. And you'll be able to see the, diff the, the, the speed difference, you can see this one's a medium shipyard, this is a large shipyard, it will build it a lot quicker there. Once it's built, I'm going to move it to a localised position, so I want to unselect those and then move them to there. That should be just the Oxford, which it is, yes. This one, I'll also move the Oxford over to this Rosborough. Because our next objective is to go to this area and we'll probably take these and then work our way forward. You can see he's got a fleet over here, but they're not doing anything with it, which is fine. Let's go to build ship once again and we'll build an Oxford. The Oxfords, oh we can't build it because it's just a little bit out of our price range. Just buy a couple of generic units of currency, but there we go, we've gone off now. Build the ship and to the Oxford and click OK and crack on with that one. Looks like the other one has been built, so we will select the insecticide and move over to there with the oxford so we've got two oxfords these are very much only effective when they are used in a group when they're used together so that's what we'll have to do in terms of the 
uh, flora and fauna, the white dragons and the clockwork wasps, that's going to be a bit difficult because none of the things that we have are probably able to take it out. Certainly the Denver is absolutely useless against them and in general the white dragons and clockwork wasps are very, very, very difficult to defeat anyway. So we're probably going to have to use things like the bot fly, which is grape shots and miniguns and maybe even the barry. The barry is probably the way forward for the white dragons. Hmm. We'll have to see. Anyway, on the left-hand side, we're just going to have a quick look to see what's happening here. We've got some invasion from this guy. He's actually using a mix of ground ship and airship going to Uncton there. Looks like this territory has been taken over by him. And are they going to... Oh, yeah, they're charging forward. He's really just cutting that guy's territory right up there. We've also got black dragons up the top. We've also got another guy invading down the south. Um, hopefully, he'll have a little bit more... A little bit more um, success than perhaps uh, I had. We've also got on the left-hand side this guy, the sort of red and white with the sort of B there. We can see they've taken over two sit. Uh, it's actually no, they've only got one major city, but they've got uh, lots of little little provinces in there. It looks like they've managed to conquer that down the bottom. Excellent. Anyway, so we're going to get the other. Where is it? The other Oxford and move that over there. We will build a. Th fourth Oxford because I think that's a decent one to go for and that probably will allow us to then start taking over these areas now I haven't seen them build anything in here let's just have a view of the city yeah they still haven't built anything in there I will recall that's by because it does take money offers you can see money is actually going down because of the ink of the upkeep that we are required to pay for these things that we're buying so yeah I'm not going to do anything major in terms of players down the south, I want them to do whatever they can. And oh, it looks like this guy's actually been wiped out by the look of it. So we've got the black and white with the. Is that the, the Vol or something? I'm not too sure what that symbol is. Anyway, that's been taken out over on the right. So that changes things just slightly. Anyway, we'll go here and we'll move the Oxford to Rossborough and then we will start our attack. Now, when I move. Oh, you can see actually. <laughs> this guy's fleet has been taken out, so that actually is the perfect time for us to attack. So we're going to go to Shargrove here, and we will initiate the fight. And as you can see, they've got this this structure here. Now the thing is, we are currently in a big line, which is fine. However, I'm going to move them as far back as possible because I believe these lasers are... I don't know if they're 100% accurate, but they certainly are accurate at range. Let's put them onto an probably an aimed fire because I think I've got all the time that I really need to take and there you go you can see them firing we've also got dawn distracting light from the east means the shot fired from the left to right are less accurate so that's a shame you anyway, can see that the lasers are actually missing a little bit but they're using cannons and rifles so the, fur the f yeah I want to stay as far back as possible but there's the lasers just doing their laser stuff however a lot of them are missing, which is a bit of a shame, but when they do hit, they do hit fairly decently. Let's actually move a little bit further forward there, so we're not moving too far forward, but hopefully enough to give us a better accuracy. And anecdotal, although it is, because we've only seen a couple of shots, it does seem to be hitting, yeah, it does seem to be hitting a bit more now. Although we keep hitting at this section here as if they're trying to carve the ground out from under them. <laughs> oh, there's a decent one. So you can see the damage is spread all the way across here. And it is indeed good damage. But we are taking hits and we'll probably be starting to take victory. Okay, so it looks like it actually has surrendered, which is fine. So we're going to go for a gentle takeover there. And then looking down, they're not actually damaged. So we're going to go to... I thought, was, I, thought, is that, I thought that said Orkney for a second there, but uh, Orkney and it's going to be a similar sort of setup so we will select all of our vessels like so we will keep them where they are start the fight go to an aim fire well, they're already on aim fire that is perfectly acceptable and the first shots were not that effective the oh, there we go but the next one was it managed to take out one of their cannons so their firepower has been reduced somewhat and you can see a lot of the shots are missing but it has actually surrendered so once again we'll go for it you know we'll go for a gentle takeover on that one and then we'll go for dark fell bane which is not a place you would probably want to take the kids on the weekend with a name like that but let's go ahead and we will assault that and it's the same sort of deal start the fight not going to alter any settings because we don't need to we can see immediately the initial shots there it did cause a fire followed by it looks like an explosion there to take out one of the rifles and they're most likely going to surrender but we'll have to see how we go and there's another shot on all oh, that raking all on the front there which is an excellent shot and yeah that's pretty good i do like these oxfords these are very, very good 
Um, also good against not just static structures, but also anything that can fly, because they are quite maneuverable. So, you see we've carved a fairly big section out there, and they're taking a lot of damage on the front. In fact, probably another couple of shots might even carve that front off. Oh, there we go. It looks like they've lost... Yeah, I was going to say they've lost the front of that one, so we'll go for a gentle takeover. And then finally, we're going to invade Pincer, which is the last territory that this guy holds. And let's see... Oh, they actually have two things to shoot at now, so we'll have to be a bit careful. Wow, that looks really nice in the in the dark with the snow, doesn't it? Yeah, that's very nice. I do like the look of that. Anyway, we're on aimed fire, and I will say... I probably won't need to tell them to target anything, because they are... Yeah, they are actually firing on the right thing I say the right thing. They're probably targeting this, but things can miss and yeah, you see it's hitting back there. I will actually say then target that ship there. Now, I do expect to receive some damage on this one because we've now got double the amount of cannon shells coming back at us. So instead of the usual three, we have six and obviously same for the rifles as well. We are actually missing quite a number of shots, so I may issue the order to... Uh, I should probably select them all in the first place. We'll order them to go a little bit further forward there. You can see the order time is very, very good. Oh, oh, my mistake. I didn't see the one on the right. So we've actually got three times uh, firepower now. So that's a problem. So we may, in fact, lose this one. So we will see. We have received some damage to the back there. They have actually put it out. But you can see there's a lot of damage. I'm actually going to flee that fight. I'm going to exit the combat. We have managed to flee and we will run down to say there and wait in Darkfell Bay. Okay, so that didn't work out as intended. Actually what I'm going to do is look at the... I can't check out the defences yet. Once we've sorted these out I'll check the defences. No need to check the ones down the south because we know that we've boarded them so we haven't actually destroyed them. We're going to go to build ship and we've got all manner of things that we can build. However, as I said, I'm looking for probably some... I think another couple of Oxfords would be of some use. So build ship and there's the Oxfords and then we'll crack on. So we're building Oxfords in both Promf and in Generic and over there. On the left hand side I can see that they have taken some more territory. So the red and white B guy has managed to take over two major cities now. And up the top it looks like they are expanding too. This guy's also got a fairly big territory and looks like... This guy is also, on the bottom, these sort of black and white here, they've also managed to take the majority of this territory, and indeed the little islands here. There are only, there's only a couple of little provinces on the right, little villages to destroy. I've also seen that there's some pirates there, and good to see the ground ships getting some use as well, which is pretty good. Anyway, we should now have all of the Oxfords built, or most of them are built. Let's go over to build a land ship. And we've got the Catastrophe, which is, well, it's got harpoon guns on it. So you fire the harpoons, you grapple onto something, and you pull yourself in. That was the original idea for it. And do I want to build one? The answer is no. I want to save up and get something a little bit more expensive. The corrector, no. The winter, yes. I think we're going to build a winter because it is sensible vehicle. And, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Let's go over to Darkfell Burn. What I want to do is probably keep the antediluvian where it is and we'll put the denver actually i'll keep the denver where it is as well actually that's not too bad so we've got a couple more oxford so we'll invade this again and oh they're actually coming down to me now are they well what i'll do is i will intercept them on the way past so they're actually coming to attack darkfell burn but i think i'm going to take this opportunity to intercept and obviously we can do that because we're quite quick so they have a walker which is oh that's a problem it's a carrier i can't defeat the planes we don't have anything to defeat the planes however this one is looks to be a high level probably grape shot or gatling cannon hmm this could be an interesting fight we do have a decent service ceiling which is obviously a very big advantage to us. I'm going to move them like so. Actually, what I'll do is, yeah, that should be fine for now. And I'll keep them where they are. I'll start the fight and immediately I'll say target that one because that's our main problem there. And there's the initial shot of laser. You can see that was pretty good there. I'm going to put them on normal fire and, oh, already some very, very good damage. It looks like they have lost the back there, so they're now drifting. The problem is, as you can see, they have got some Gatling guns. So I'll let them do another couple of fires. Come on, take them out, take them out. And one more shot. Okay, so they haven't managed to take me out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell them to move over there. So we will just go straight past them. That's exactly the thing I was trying to avoid. So they've taken out, they've actually taken out the Suspendium on me, which is a problem. And because of that, 
Uh, sorry, I've taken out the suspendium on them, and because of that, they have managed to then just land on top of me, which is all kinds of bad. Anyway, I will say these target, and I want to target the the carrier there, because although we can't defeat the planes, we can defeat the carrier, the thing that brought the planes in the first place. Sadly, we have lost two Oxfords at minimum on this one, and it probably actually would be another one. Oh, it looks like this Oxford is now on fire and also has lost its weapon, so now I'm going to use it as a ramming vessel, but hopefully, yeah, that's a shame. I would say hopefully we'll be able to actually get past in the first place, but we haven't. So that's three Oxfords so far that we have had destroyed, so I'm going to move right in close here, and like so, and I'll put these on rapid fire because we're so close it shouldn't really matter. This thing is fairly well armed, armoured rather, it's not well armed, but the planes are doing the damage. You can see the bombs there is coming along. I'm going to start moving just so that the bombs will hopefully miss. And that's actually exactly what's happened, which is exactly what I want to see. So I'll flip that to there. This one, I'll move to there and flip it. As I said, just keep moving. Should give us an advantage over the bomber. But the problem is I'm also reducing the firepower that I'm able to bring to bear. But there you go. There's another couple of... Oh, that's another couple of bombs that have hit us there. And there we go. We've taken the legs out. So that should hopefully surrender but I don't think it's gonna I don't think it's gonna we've actually fallen out the sky there's the oxygen there but we've still got the gun which is the main thing move up to there so we need to take out that oh there's another bomb coming in I'm gonna try and reposition there's another shot so we've lost all the weapons there's some more bombs oh but you see they are actually angling them right see this is a carrier done correct really carried done correct but it is a victory but at what cost three oxfords technically survived one's disa uh, disarmed and one's no crew quarters but we have managed to destroy them i'm going to take them back over to generic and because you can see on the right <laughs> they do require a little bit of maintenance shall we say but we destroyed their fleet which is good but what we need to do is repair repair Repair, repair, and repair. So it's going to take them quite a while to do that, but once it's sorted, we should be able to have another crack over here. But I'm going to leave it there. Not bad. We've got decent money coming in. We've managed to take out one empire and almost destroy the other. We have used, at the start, Denver's, which are quite an old design, but a very useful design. Good to getting our sort of establish our borders and protect our empire. But then we've used the Oxfords. Not exactly a silly design. Quite useful, in fact. But we have had some losses. Hopefully, in the next episode, we can cover from that and take over this area here. We shall see how we get on. As always, hope you enjoyed the video and for what it is, the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Any suggestions for designs or anything like that that we maybe not build in this series, but will build eventually, perhaps. Then that should be good. Then, by all means, let us know. If you want to see any specific designs, then uh, also pop them in the comments there. As always, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.